वेलकम टू मैथ्स इज इजी हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज देर इज ऑलवेज अ नीड ऑफ हेल्प इन कैलकुलेटिंग और सॉल्विंग मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल्स आई एम हेयर फॉर द सेम टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एंड सेवन ऑफ क्लास एट स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट्स ऑफ बुक ऑफ पब्लिकेशन हाउस गोयल ब्रदर्स प्रकाशन सो लेट्स चेक इट आउट हाउ टू सॉल्व इट In question number six, we have been given the three digits, or we can say the integers or natural numbers. So we have to find out whether the three natural numbers or digits are building Pythagorean triplet. So. in mathematics we all know about the pythagorean triplet in which three natural numbers is called as a pythagorean triplet if x square plus y square equal to z square means the square of the biggest number should be equal to the square and addition of other two smaller numbers so in all these options we have to find out whether they are the pythagorean triplet or are they making the pythagorean triplet or not so let's check it out how to solve it so for question number 6 first part we have been given three natural numbers 3 4 and 5 so we are supposed to find out whether these three natural numbers Uh, can be called as pythagorean triplet so first of all we should know the three natural numbers is called as pythagorean triplet if x square plus y square should be equal to z square so the biggest number square should be equal to addition of two other smaller numbers square so we will take bigger number 5 square should be equal to 3 square plus 4 square so 5 square is 25 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 60 so 25 is 25 so these three natural numbers are making it the pythagorean triplet so we can write it is pythagorean triplet in the second option the biggest number is 8 so whether the square of 8 should be equal or would be equal to 6 square plus 7 square it would be equal to 64 6 square would be equal to 36 and 7 square would be equal to 49 64 and the addition of 36 and 49 would be 85 which is not equal to 64 so it's not a pythagorean so in the third option 12 35 and 37 have been given so the biggest number is 37 square should be equal to the squares of 35 square and 12 square with addition so 37 square would be equal to 1 3 6 9 35 square would be equal to 1225 And twelve square would be equal to one hundred forty-four. So thirteen, sixty-nine, twelve, twenty-five, and one forty-four would be equal to thirteen, sixty-nine. So as both the LHS and RHS is same, so we can say it's a Pythagorean triplet. 
so in fourth option the three natural numbers which have been given to us are 17 15 and 8 so whether check it out 17 square would be equal to addition of 15 square plus 8 square so 17 square would be equal to 289 15 square would be equal to 225 and 8 square would be equal to 64 so 289 225 plus 64 is equal to 289 only so here we can say LHS equal to RHS so it's also a Pythagorean triplet where x square plus y square should be equal to z square so in here in fifth part 24 square should be equal to 21 square plus 12 square so 24 square is 576 21 square is 441 and 12 square is equal to 144 so 576 and the addition of this is 585 yes so it's also not equal LHS and RHS so it's not a Pythagorean triplet in sixth part three natural numbers are 16 63 and 65 so 65 square should be equal to 63 square plus 16 square 65 square 4 2 2 5 63 is 3 9 6 9 plus 16 square is 256 so whether check it out the addition of 3969 plus 256 56 is equal to 4225 yes they both are equal so LHS equal to RHS so these three natural numbers also making it a Pythagorean triplet so I hope all the sixth parts of question number six is very much clear so now we will move on or proceed to question number seven which is high order thinking skills question it is one of the most important questions of square and square roots so have a serious glance on how to solve it so in Question number 7 of exercise 3.1 The question is The one digit or we can say a natural number is given to us With the help of this digit We have to find out The other two members of Pythagorean triplet So as we all know Pythagorean triplet is about If three natural numbers are given to us so x square which is the first natural number plus y square which is the second natural number and the addition of these two natural numbers should be equal to z square or we can say the greatest number of the group of three natural numbers so in question number seven as we have been given one member or one natural number of the three natural numbers with the help of it we have to find out other two members of Pythagorean triplet. So, for solving it, we should remember one thing or we can say the formula 2m, comma, m square minus 1, comma, m square plus 1. 
so here we will equate 2m with the given number so 2m will become 10 so m will become 10 divided by 2 that is 5 so 5 is the main number or we can say the root number by which we can find out other two numbers so with the help of m equal to 5 we can find out m square minus 1 that would be equal to 5 square minus 1 that is 25 minus 1 that is 24 and 1 another number is m square plus 1 so m is 5 here that is 5 square plus 1 means 25 plus 1 that is 26 so we can say the other members are 24 which we have calculated and 26 and the third member is given to us which was 10 only so here we can say 26 square should be equal to addition of 24 square and 10 square so have a full glance of question number 7 first part now we will move on to the second part so in the second part 14 which is a natural number is given to us with the help of this number we have to find out the other two members of Pythagorean triplet. So as we did earlier 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 would be used here. So we will equate 2m equal to 14. So m will become 14 by 2 m will become the 7 so this is the root number we can say so for finding the other two members 7 square minus 1 that is 49 minus 1 that is 48 and the third number m square plus 1 that is 7 square plus 1 that is 49 plus 1 that is 50 so other members are 48 and 50 of second part of question number 7. So through this way we can find out the other members if one member is given to us. We just have used the formula 2m equal to m square minus 1 m square plus 1 with the help of it we have found out the other two members which are 48 and 50 so we will proceed to the third part for third part we will follow the same steps 2m, m square minus 1, m square plus 1. So here equate 2m with 20. So m would become 20 by 2. That is m would become 10. m square minus 1 would be equal to m is 10. So 10 square minus 1 that is 100 minus 1 that is 99. And the third part for finding out we will use the same formula m square plus 1 that is 10 square plus 1 means 100 plus 1 that is 101. So the three members are 20, 99, 101. So other members we have been asked to find out. So other members are 99 and 
now we will proceed to the last part of question number 7 fourth part which is same steps would be followed in here also 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 equate 2m with 26 so m would become 26 divided by 2 that is 13 so with the help of m equal to 13 we can find out m square minus 1 that is m square means 13 square minus 1 which is 169 minus 1 that is 168 and m square plus 1 which is 13 square plus 1 that is 169 plus 1 means 170 so these are the other two members 168 and 170 hope all the options are very much clear to you if still facing any type of doubts you can ask your queries by writing into the comment box i will definitely be trying to solve it so in this video i have solved question number six and seven all the parts of exercise 3.1 go to this precaution class eight squares and square roots in my next video i would be solving question number eight and nine if you like my video or if it is somewhere helpful subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you so much